hello guys welcome back to my channel so it's been a full week of studying and i'm getting my emoji back i'm really happy i'm grateful and i just want to share with you how my studying has gone and how i am doing first sorry how i'm doing new world so um the last video i posted that was last week sunday i had this timetable where i wanted to go through first aid through the systems page by page and um going through first aid page by page is something i have struggled with i really haven't been able to do that so i wanted to try again and do that and it was really really hard it was almost like i was spending um frustrating hours on one page and i just couldn't do it so i just opted to just going straight into your world my intention before was to go through the systems at least before i start my your world but i found that it was an unnecessary repetition it was really boring and i just couldn't follow through so i think i went into your world <laughs> i mean that first day you know that monday because it was really hard for me so yeah at that time they wouldn't work for me trust me guys it didn't work for me i i'm normally not the one to go with a timetable but i just wanted to try normally i just have a plan for the day and try and do what i said i'll do that day so that timetable didn't work <laughs> uh so yeah if it worked for you, if you tried it and it worked for you, please leave a comment below. And if you tried it and you felt like I was probably insane, leave a comment. So now when I'm doing you world and I just want to share how I do you world because I think it's really cool. It's easier than how I used to do you world before. So what I do is that I do five questions per block. I do it timed. I do it mixed. That is mixed systems. Everything. I mix everything up so five questions per blog timed and when i finish the five questions i review it immediately then go through another five questions and with that i've been able to do um 40 questions every day sometimes i'm able to do more sometimes i do less but mostly i think yesterday because i was a bit distracted i wasn't able to do up to 40 but most of the week i was able to do at least 40 questions in a day so yeah that's how i do you all doing five questions or you can do 10 i mean it helps it reduces the task of what you have to accomplish i mean when i used to do um 40 questions straight in the past it was really hard for me to review everything in a day i might end up reviewing it in uh, three days and again it depends on where you are in your study process if you are just starting out you might need a longer time to review the answers and someone that has um has been studying for a while so yeah um i mean there are some people that are able to do 70 questions of you all every day so like everybody is at different levels so but, but now and i think i'm able to hit 40 if i really focus I'm able, to, I'm, I'm able to hit 40 questions in a day so everybody is at different levels of progress and um so honestly you shouldn't just do what someone else is doing you should focus on what you can do at your own stage of progress right so i mean i'm just sharing what i'm doing it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work for you <sighs> yeah so that's what i do five questions timed each block and with that with that um like with that progress i am able to do up to 40 questions and um i was worried that maybe i need to do more questions you know because the exam is like 40 per block you know so i wanted to like dedicate one day in the week where i do 40 questions straight you know just to make sure that i can sit down for an hour and do a block of course i know i can i've done it in the past but i was just like thinking about at least once in a week i should do 40 questions straight but anyway so for now five questions each do the revision and that that's how i'm doing it now so yeah that another thing i do with you all that helps me go through the review faster is that i i don't write everything on the explanation and I don't have a separate note for you world. When I see that something is very very important, 
that I might probably forget and I see that it's not in my first aid I just add it to my first aid because there's a greater probability of me reading it in my first aid than me reading it in a separate note so I don't write I just put important notes in my first aid so what I do now is when I get a concept when I'm trying to understand a concept in your world that I, I, I don't know too well I try to explain it to a friend and um, this really helps because sometimes you think you understand the concept but when you explain it to someone else you realize that maybe you don't really understand it that well you know so explaining to someone else and repeating it to myself over and over again has really made writing unnecessary and made writing more passive you know so repeating to myself you know is is an active way of reinforcing what i have read and um, another thing that really helps me studying is just having someone beside me that is also studying i mean if you're if you're in an environment where you have access to other people that are studying definitely when you just sit down with someone else that is studying you know the temptation of watching a movie or being distracted with something else is just going to reduce and you know just seeing that person studying for the same purpose that you're studying is going to you know reinforce your own studying and sometimes you can even you know say those explanations to that person that is studying you know because if the person says that okay you're missing out some points the person might add to what you missed out so it's really cool i mean you don't have to like actively be studying with the person but passively you guys can be helping each other to you know achieve the same goal so definitely that's what i do for you all thank you for tuning in today i love you stay tuned i'll keep you updated bye